Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm back with that another motherfucking YouTube video. As you can see, it's gonna be another Baddies Caribbean review. I haven't done a review in like three episodes just because all these episodes have been so dragged out. Like, I'm just like, I just don't get, don't think it's worth me making a video for an episode that's like totally dragged out where like, they're like talking for like the first 30 minutes and like the last 10 minutes they're just like a fight in like a, a, a cliffhanger like i just don't think it's fair for us as viewers and for you guys who are watching me <laughs> and this time i made notes because i tend to forget a lot of things girl i'm gonna be looking through this shit <laughs> all day time Okay. Oh no, not this. So in the beginning of the first episode, I think it's episode thirteen, because I think we're on episode sixteen now. Uh, so the beginning of episode thirteen, uh, you see Asian Doll and Natalie talk about what's been going on in the house, because Asian Doll hasn't been here for like the past couple of days. So they're just been you know kind of talking about um, what's been going on in the house. Nat is telling Asian Doll like. Oh my god, these girls are out of hand. Like, it's like every single day we're getting into a fight. Duh, bitch, that's what you're fucking wanting. That's what you're producing. That's what you're encouraging. Like, I hate how Natalie's trying to make it seem like she doesn't want these fights. Or she's, like, overwhelmed from all these fights. Like, girl, you know damn well you like seeing those fights. Like, she likes, she, she likes seeing people crumble. Natalie, stop it. So then, I think in this episode, if I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but I think Natalie gives... Uh, Asian doll a baddie chain which personally me I don't think Asian doll deserves a baddie chain just because she's not there too much I mean she just fought Mariah and that's pretty much it I don't really think she's giving like oh my gosh like crazy vibes here um but I mean I feel like Natalie obviously picks and chooses who she wants to give stuff to or favors to so obviously Asian doll is a celebrity and even she says it herself like she deserves it the celebrity treatment or whatever so that was pretty interesting to watch because a lot of other people still haven't gone to baddie's chain um at this point the, re the replacements still haven't moved in <laughs> they've been talking about moving having the replacements come in or whatever and nothing has happened <laughs> like at this point like the girls who they kicked out already left like six episodes ago and we still haven't really gotten the replacements like fully in the house which is kind of annoying because i don't know how long like i'm not knowing how much longer they're going to be and i don't know how much longer they're going to be having this season out for that they're going to bring the they're going to be bringing that the replacements that late in so i really want to see how that turns out or whatever anna mac talking to, to seki and anna mac is still pretty sad about the whole fight between her and mariah which honestly like if it was my friend and we were actually close as fuck I would definitely also feel bad too. I've actually fought one of my friends before and I felt terrible, y'all. Like, I literally didn't want to talk to her the next day because I know how mad she was going to be and how embarrassed I was. But then I ended up just messaging her messaging her, and I was just kind of like, bitch, I'm sorry. So I'm glad that, you know, eventually... I'm glad that eventually, like, they became friends, which is going to be what I'm going to be talking about later too uh because then that'll be talking things out yeah anna max is pretty sad about this oh, anna is like a genuinely like nice person but if you like come at her she's gonna come at you back and her jokes and her comebacks are just like hilarious like i, I freaking love anna like she's actually growing on me i know in the past couple of episodes in the last season i kept calling her a mosquito but now she's a dragonfly <laughs> so i really do like anna mag and i like how she's expressing her feelings she's not like trying to be like oh yeah like fuck her fuck her like she's just she's genuinely hurt about their friendship and i don't know i mean i never really saw them really become friends friends like that like i never really saw it like that i always saw like biggie anna camila and Taseki, you know being a thing and not seeing like the other house the, being a, like a group so i never really saw their two friendships that close so but i don't know maybe the behind the scenes they were like having threesomes and shit so that's why they felt so close to each other i don't know they start so then they're on the way to go ziplining and on the way y'all this is why i can't stand meatball and i feel like meatball should just be not <laughs> included in any kind of social media or any kind of show or of some sort because the girl had a knife or whatever 
talking about if she sees so and so that they're gonna she's gonna do some really crazy shit and i do give jayla her props for telling her no girl you're not gonna do this like stop like you're gonna wanna mess up the rest of your life over some then you can walk away and i do commend jayla for that she's not giving bully vibes anymore so jayla might start growing on growing on me but i still don't like her okay <laughs> i still don't like jayla just because of the whole gretchen the whole biggie situation i just can't stand jayla her as a person i just never liked her since bad girls club so I, I'm, I, I take back the whole me liking her. Like, I, I just remind her of all the other, the other things. And I'm like, you know what, bitch? I can stay not liking her. But even though she, I do commend her for that. Like, you can tell people they're doing a good job without liking him, you know? But I don't like Meatball. Meatball's ghetto. Meatball's disgusting. Meatball's weird for doing that whole night stuff. Honestly, if this was Bad Girls Club, that would have been a ticket home. I don't know why she did that. I don't know why the producers didn't stop that and they ended up sending the replacement home which i forgot her name honestly i forgot her name but i know that was one of the girls that those were that was one of the girls that fought meatball or something like that at the beach back in the beginning of the season um so i think that's that's where the beef is going on i really don't know what happened or if it's even that situation but meatball like that uh-uh no girl that's not that's not even funny that's not entertaining that's not like oh my god that was so cute like no girl that's some ghetto weird shit that she was doing and i can't stand meatball i actually don't like her more than jayla because i feel like it's tv you know what i'm saying like come on like take take yourself out of the hood for a second and know that you're on tv stop like trying to do all that shit like she does not belong in the fucking hollywood or bollywood or any of the woods, you know, in TV. Uh, just, that's just my own personal opinion. So, yeah, they go ziplining and the replacements are coming along. And Natalie's like, bitch, I want to get to know these bitches before they come into the house. Is that Meepa? And finally, they're being included. I know who they are. I didn't know who the fuck they were other than um, Belly Jelly Bean or whatever. I know who Jelly Bean was just because she got her ass beat by Taseki. That's the only reason I even know who Jelly Bean is. And she also got her ass beat by Callie when she got like clotheslined by her at the beach. That's the only reason I know that girl. Oh, and Nunu. Oh my gosh, I forgot I forgot all about Nunu. I liked Nunu when she, you know, was sticking up for Gretchen, but then I she started getting on my nerves and y'all y'all gonna see why she gets on my nerves. And there's also Big Keva or Big Heva, Big Heavy, Hefty, I don't know her name, but um, uh, she's in this too now. She's like a thick girl who's like has beef with uh Tinka Bella. I was keeping a lot of this episode because I was kind of like, oh my god, like all they're doing is a little weird little slow motion edits and putting music in the background. Like they're not making it entertaining. So, but the only funny part about this episode really was when um Natalie couldn't like fucking get on the zip line because she was like scared and to be honest y'all this is like my first time seeing her cry since bad girls club season four bad girls club season four aired in what 2009 so that's like my first time seeing Natalie legit like cry over something like that like I remember the first time I seen her cry was on bad girls club and she was crying over her ex-boyfriend at the time and she was like i need to go home i can't do this anymore like that's the first time i saw natalie cry after that like she just turned into like mean girl valley like cult type of vibes and like she just never cried after that like even on on, on bad girls i mean on baddies atlanta the first season when she was arguing with tanisha and she was like fake crying girl bitch we knew you wasn't really crying okay she's making a big deal and i just think it's fucking funny i ended up making a tiktok out of this if y'all want to follow me on tiktok this is my username i just think natalie is an insensitive bitch so the fact that she cried over i mean i'm not gonna lie like heights are kind of scary but girl girl them big bad girls club ball then Rolly and anna uh are like at this like dinner or whatever and they're eating some like chicken sandwich or whatever and they're basically kind of like apologizing to each other which i like i said i like anna because she's real she can apologize she can she's generally you can tell she generally wants to make friends i definitely do see her like on a bad girls club or something because she's actually has a present natalie it's not like these other girls who are just like on some hood shit and i just want to fight 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 like not anna really is showing her present natalie this this season and i'm really here for it Anna's really starting to grow on me, y'all. Even though I call her a mosquito, like I said, she's now a dragonfly, okay? It's like, you know, it's all about fighting, but I like to see, like, the sentimental 
parts of the show you know i really like to see when people are opening up and shit like yes the fights are all fun and everything but i really do like seeing like the girls like get into like their feelings and like really like apologize and open up like i like to see that because on bad girls club i remember they used to have like all kinds of like like sentimental moments and i actually used to cry to these sentimental moments they're having a pre-party at lemmy's house or whatever and it's people were saying it's giving diddy vibes if you don't know what's going on with diddy y'all need to figure it out on instagram and on social media because it's it's a lot of crazy and a lot of people are calling lemmy <laughs> Great value version of Diddy and Diddy Jr. <laughs> All kinds of things. I'm just like, bitch, yeah, I need to stop saying these things about this man. Another replacements, which is Keva or Meva, Tiva. I don't know, Hefty. I don't know, but she like was trying to fight Tinkabella because she was telling Tinkabella, like, why are you always telling people if they're good? I don't, I didn't understand that fight. So they're like about to fight at this party. Kava trying to fight Tinkabella and they're just like kind of like scrimmaging around they end up not fighting and it's the next episode and this is the episode where it's Lemmy's uh party or whatever and uh before Lemmy's before Lemmy's party they all had like a house meeting and um Natalie's telling them like if you guys fight at this party like you guys would never ever be invited back but I don't understand why that's even a concept when Lemmy is the CEO of all these ratchet ass fights, all these ratchet ass shows. Like, how do you expect no one to fight at your party, Lemmy? Come on now. Like, it's baddies. It's like you're invited. You're invited, a motherfucking. What's his name? Um, the 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 cokehead, the one that like the, the gay one, like the, that's like really skinny and he has like botched lips. Ugh, I forgot his name. He was like on Love and Hip Hop, and he had also had a show on um on Zeus, I forgot his name, like, I forgot, anyways. Well, the replacements are brought in into the house, to this house meeting or whatever, and right away, Tinkerbell is, like, up, and she's, like, ready to fight, and Big Keva comes in on some, like, and Big Keva comes in on some, like, hey, like, just put your cup down, let's talk. Girl, after what you just did last night, and after y'all just fought and had all these kinds of drama, you really think that you're gonna come up to the girl that you're beefing with, and just be like, oh, girl, like, put your cup down, please. Like, I want to talk. Like, no, sis. Like, especially Tinkabella. Like, Tinkabella will pop off. Like I said, I don't like Tinkabella. I never did. I didn't like her from episode one. But even, like, I know she was going to pop off. No, sister. Don't do that. <laughs> this is not goodies or whatever. Like, girl, you should have come in, like, on some rah-rah shit. Like, that was the point of this house meeting. Because, like, it wasn't going to be on some cutesy shit like it's not gonna be no demure i wouldn't say tinka really f won just because um keva kind of just fell into the couch right away and like she was kind of missing her punches you know um tinka bella was kind of missing the punches and it really kind of looked like she won because uh keva fell into the couch or whatever um but after that it was just weird because they ended up shaking hands and then it just kind of just squashing it and everything which is so annoying i know i, I told you guys i'd rather have them like fix it and everything but i would write that days later just like what mariah and uh anna did which we're gonna get to later but just like what they did like they fought and they didn't really get cool until days later that's what i like to see because there's no way i'm gonna fight somebody and in that same day i'm we're gonna make up like we're gonna be kissing we're gonna be hugging we're gonna be like kumbaya bitch what you want for christmas type of shit like it ain't gonna be <laughs> none of that like it's gonna be multiple rounds until we're tired and then tomorrow or actually maybe next week we're gonna like try to make make things up you know what i'm saying like i just don't see myself becoming friends with anyone who i fought flash forward to lemmy's birthday party everyone's walking in slow motions for some reason like on some dramatic shit bianca gets to the party and <laughs> her entrance is so fucking dramatic like bitch she didn't even do anything she didn't even like i mean i guess she tried popping off on somebody but she really didn't actually fight which they should have let her okay so she comes in and she's trying to fight uh sapphire she's with her friends or whatever and i think it's kind of pussy vibes i'm not gonna lie because like okay i don't i don't know i do be like bianca I, I really did like her in the beginning but when she left after everything she kind of kind of like left like a punk kind of and then she came back with backup like me personally i'm not gonna lie y'all like i would definitely handle my own right there and then when Sapphire was calling her out in the motorcycles or whatever when they went to go ATV driving. I would have definitely fought. I don't care if I got jumped. I would have still stood my ground. I would not wait 
a week later to come back with backup now. Like, I, I am someone that will confront you by myself. I will fight you by myself. I don't need an army behind me to confront you or to finally fight you. Like, no, girl, I would have fought right there and then. And then get my next round with someone else who comes. Like, I would have done both. You know what I'm saying? And Bianca, she unfortunately left like a pussy and came back with backup. Like, that's so you know. She was actually scared. She wasn't over it. She wasn't, like you know, not caring. She was actually kind of scared. So, but then again, it's like 10 bitches against her. So, I kinda, it, it's like, it's a really weird, it's a really weird concept to really get into. E.T. there and everyone's kind of, like everyone from the past season who's still there, obviously, is giving like E.T. like a dirty look. They're kind of like, just kind of like, mm. oh, she's here, oh, she's here. And E.T. look like she's, you know, having fun, like living her best life. But you can tell like, she's like giving like fake laughs and like, Pretending like she's living her best life without them and shit. But you can tell <laughs> E.T. just regrets everything she did last season. You can tell she misses, like, she can tell she wanted to come back. And now she's regretting. So that's why she's crying. And she's just, like, crying to everybody. Because she's not crying because she's hurt. She's crying because she regrets not. She regrets everything she did that got her not to come back. You know what I'm saying? I don't think she's really crying that she fucked up the friendship. I think she just wants to come back and she's not getting the opportunity. She talks to Scotty, she talks to Staseki, she talks to Sapphire, I think too. And I think Natalie at some point in her started talking during that party and she's just like, they're hugging it out. Scotty calls out E.T. for leaking her number, which go, go bitch, you go do that. But bitch, keep that same energy that you had with Gretchen with E.T. now. Cause E.T. actually did something to you. Gretchen did, why aren't you fighting E.T.? Are you scared of her, Scotty? Come on now. Um, sorry, I just don't like Scotty. <laughs> like, she's pretty. She's beautiful. I do follow her on Instagram. Because she's really pretty. I think she's really pretty. She has a really good style. But I just don't think she's a baddie, y'all. She does not give baddie material. She gives, like, Natalie's backup dancer. <laughs> y'all, the way I would have snatched E.T. if my number got leaked like that. Girl, Scotty was being too calm. Natalie was being too calm. Sapphire and her already fought, so I can give it to Sapphire for being calm. But, girl, and the way Rolly would kept looking at her from afar, oh, girl, the tension between Rolly and E.T., it was just thick. You can tell they wanted to come up to each other and just fight. But then, yeah, the party goes on. Everyone's still somehow moving in slow motion. Everyone's still drinking and just... <laughs> Biggie... And Scotty, are you by, by the DJ? Because there were like too many people by there and they were kicking people out. Someone wanted to give let, let me a shout out. And like, I honestly skipped the shout out um, scene because like I said, like I just didn't care to see that. Like, bitch, if I'm not there, I'm not gonna be like watching the fucking scene. Like, bitch, let me invite me to your birthday party next time and then I won't skip your scenes. <laughs> we're getting to this episode. I was talking to somebody and she's like, you know what, I really wanna talk to uh, what's her name, uh, Mariah, and kind of talk things out and hope that things get better. I really want to mention, like, the bigger points that happened on this episode because it, it was a pretty good episode. This this episode, was episode 16, the one that just came out this Sunday, it was actually pretty interesting because a lot was going on. Like, it wasn't some, like, 30 minutes of just talking and then, like, 10 minutes of just, like, drama. Like, no, they were, like, actually giving us, like, you know. But basically... Anna and Mariah go and talk at the beach and they finally talk things out, which I'm super happy that they ended up talking things out. This is what I was talking about when I said fight, but make up days later. Like keep the drama for a little bit. Don't make up right away. Brought up the whole like, hey, like I just hate how we brought up our 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 traumas to each other, which is, I don't even think that's a real friend. I'm sorry. Like if you're going to start bringing up all my traumas against me while we're fighting, like I'm sorry, we're not going to ever be friends again. Like so... Props to them, like they ended up really making up, but girl, I would have not been friends with you if you're making fun of my my broken face or if you're making fun about, you know, getting abused, like all that shit. Like I would just not be cool with each other. They're, yeah, they probably already seen each other's coochies already, so they probably have a really close bond already. <laughs> I remember me mentioning a couple episodes ago that these bitches, these bitches never get to eat. Like it's so sad. It's kind of like, and it's kind of sad that zoos don't get them like you know like Lunchables or like some Chipotle, you know, on on a Tuesday or something. Like it's it's sad that, that they <laughs> they don't eat. Like I've seen on in, on social media that they really don't be getting fed in during this process. Like 
I don't know if they go and go get themselves some like snacks from the 7-Eleven over there or something. But I was told or I see on social media that Lemmy or Zeus, the production, does not feed them. As in there's no food in the fridge, no eggs, no toast, no none of that shit. You can't even make a sandwich there. Would have been so pissed. I'm sorry. Like I honestly never seen them eat. And the fact <laughs> they made this episode about them wanting to eat is crazy like i was like you know like <laughs> production does not give a fuck about these girls like that because the fact that they made it a mockery about them not being able to eat girl see we finally get to see et and rolly like link up and natalie as well she's like in the middle and they're all kind of just like confronting E.T. talking about why did you leak our number? Like, why did you do that? And basically all E.T. said was, I was hurt. You guys hurt my feelings. But it's, but I mean, I can see why E.T. got hurt. I can see why E.T. I can see why E.T.'s feelings were hurt because during the house last season, she thought she was a part of something. She thought she was a part of the group. She thought she was connected with the girl. She thought she was really like, deeply with the girls so you know she thought she had like a real bond with the girls you know she was their minion like you know then she were throw shit at people for other people like she was their minion so she really thought that she was making a good like impression with these girls and a good establishment so i would have been hurt too i'm not gonna lie if i was et i would have been like kind of like damn like I, I just um bullied bitches for you guys and you guys are like turning on me like okay shit you know what i'm saying and when she fought Natalie, y'all, I was like, shit. <laughs> like, this girl got some balls to be fighting with Natalie, you know? Because oh, not everyone wants to fight Natalie. People are kissing Natalie's ass to obviously have a spot on bad girls or on baddies. So that was pretty interesting to how she was like, one of the two bitches that actually went at Natalie. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, I give her some some respect. Then Rolly's like, well, bitch, what's your tea, what's your tea with me? Like, what what's up with you? And Rolly's, so they're like going back and forth and yo, <laughs> Rolly's like, you know what, bitch? Like, I need to go smoke. <laughs> and she's me, cause like, bitch, when I'm stressed out, girl, I'm ready to roll up blunt and get the fuck out of the scene for a little bit and then come back. But as she was walking away, E.T. like starts to stand up, Rolly's getting closer to her and sudden they just start smacking each other. And that's a really funny ass fight because you can just hear like the little smacks or whatever. You just hear like the... One of the most interesting fights I've seen this season. I'm not gonna lie, because all the fights have been so like, what's up, what's up, bitch, what's up, what's up, you know, on some hood shit. And this one just kind of just came out of nowhere. Like we all knew they were gonna fight, but like just the way they approach each other, like it wasn't on some like, you know, it was just like, you know, like and that's the kind of fights I like to I like to see. I like to see when like it just happens out of nowhere. And you see Rolly like dragging Et, and Et's like still trying to punch her and everything. I don't know who won this fight, honestly. I really don't know who won this fight. I would say E.T. won the fight just because she was throwing more hands and I feel like her punches were connecting more. But she, but Rolly did start dragging her. Like, but then again, that's, I feel like that's also security that was dragging E.T. And not actually Rolly. Like, I feel like I don't think Rolly has that much force, especially with her body, like, just getting dead. Like, I don't think she has that kind of force. But I do give Rolly her props because she was kind of doing her thing while she was, you know, like, which again, I'm gonna say this again, like, I don't care how much money you're gonna pay me, bitch. I would not go on a show that's about fighting, fully fresh body, still with stitches. She probably bleeds, still bleeds here and there till this day, probably. Like, I'm sorry, Rowley just needed to take a, a year a break, like, save it for next season, boo, or something, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't think this is good for her body. Her the stress that she's in there, the liquor, the fights that she's getting into. She already fought Gretchen. She already fought ET, and so it's like I don't think this is really good for her body. And I really hope that she's good after this because, girl, like the body is not a strong. Okay, y'all, we do not have a strong body. We're not meant to fight against freaking gladiators. Get to the dinner and um uh, it's everyone now you know it's all the replacements all the freaking originals all the freaking celebrities they're all having dinner they're all actually eating the food actually gets to come out this time but that doesn't mean they're gonna they're not gonna fight okay that means <laughs> food plus fight oh the food's out the food look gross i'm not gonna lie like the egg roll like it looked it had corn in it and i'm like bitch i never seen egg rolls with corn in it but 
in a way it's Dominican Republic, so I'm not gonna talk my shit. I know I'm sure their food's probably good, but girl, a girls, are you seriously in Dominican Republic? Like, okay. <laughs> Nunu calls out Mar uh so the Nunu calls out uh on a Mac out of nowhere. And she's like, you know what? I know Nunu's like I know the drama got nothing to do with me. Like, I heard everything. But the only thing that has me fucked up is if you ever fight my mom. And I'm like, oh. we're bringing up the mom again? Like, first of all, she's like, like, why don't we bring the mom on baddies? Like, let's bring the mom on baddies so she can handle her shit and fight again. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's make, if Mariah comes back next season, the mom has to come back. Too. After they just had made up, which I don't think Nunu really knew that they had already made up. But come on, oh girl, like get to get mind your business like this is, has nothing to do with you and i was really liking nunu but girl we like on and out so don't try to get into this like mind your business go find freaking oh well, dia's gone too now huh it's giving i need a story like i need someone else to pick on dia not here no more so i need someone new to like kind of fight and you know meatball is a terrifying serial killer at this point so i don't think she's gonna want to mess with her so yeah of course you're gonna sp pick the smallest girl in his house which is anna and like how are you gonna just come at her and be like if you came at my mother if you came at my mother we get it if you if she came at any of her moms it's on obviously we all know that but no no if it's not about your girl by the way hope that they fight <laughs> i really hope that in these next couple episodes they get into a fight or something happens because it's giving, I think Nunu wants, needs a, a storyline. That's when Jelly Bean, <laughs> like, I don't know where. She's just like, well, guys, I appreciate everybody. We're all baddies. And she was just giving, like, this, like, happy, like, story. Like, oh, my God, guys. Like, I'm so glad we're all here. And, you know, this is, and <laughs> Callie. Of course, that'd be Callie because, you know, they got beef. Uh, she's like, girl, shut the fuck up. What, what is this? Like, Mickey's Playhouse. Like, I love Callie. Callie's going to stay up there as one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, for the way she just like told her to shut the fuck up and like stop saying that like that, like that nice shit that shit made me laugh so much because i'm like jelly stop like this isn't some like sorority girl like no bitch this is baddies and go fight her right now like go 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 attack kelly and like bitch that's that's what we want to see and she want to come out here on some well, I'm glad we we're all here, and we're having dinner, and everything's fun. We should all just be together. Like, girl, no. So, finally, you know, they're fighting, they're arguing, and they're, like, walking up to each other. And Callie's, like, like walking up to her, and she's, like, about to fight her. And that's when the episode ends, which I'm not mad. This episode, I'm not mad. It gave me enough entertainment for me to be okay with the next episode being the whole other part of this whole argument with Callie and jelly roll whatever her name is and um so the next episode should be pretty interesting because um that's when the replacements finally get to the house like bitch we waited uh, at least six episodes for the replacements to come into the house finally and girl they have not been coming except for the next episode which is kind of excited because i actually want to see them more often now not just like see them like pop in and out you know so that's pretty interesting i mean with the body fights Nunu and I think she also fights Big Keva too uh so I'm wondering how that happens because I don't think they have beef in the house I think if anything it was Tinkerbella that had, they had beef with who was my favorite this episode this episode specifically I'm not talking about the other ones this episode episode specifically my favorite ah. oh who's who's my favorite this episode I think I'm gonna go with Callie again just because the way she just came at Jelly Jelly Bean or whatever. Like that she was hilarious, y'all. Like, <laughs> like she just, because like why is Jelly Bean like saying some like soft ass shit? And this bitch is like, girl, shut the fuck up. <laughs> His favorite has to be um I'm gonna say Nunu. Okay, I'm gonna say Nunu just because she tried making the whole Anna versus Mariah beef about her. Uh girl, bye. Like like I said, it's giving storyline. Also, y'all, on the next episode, big old meatball again. It's back out here with the freaking knife and shit. And I'm like, when are they gonna send her as home? She would have done this, you know, Baggers Club. You best believe she would have been black, blackballed from Hollywood. She wouldn't be on all other freaking shows. Like she would have been like back into, into the hood. I forgot to mention my favorite Gretchen unfortunately left because her elbow, which girl, I honestly said that she should have been left from the beginning. 
But good thing that no one sent her home. She didn't go home on no one's behalf. She went home because she got to take care of her elbow, which is some bad bitch shit. She forever would be a baddie to me. She did her own. She left, unfortunately. But she left on her own turn. She left on her own condition. Like, it was never on some, like, oh, they want me home. Like, you know, she stood her ground every single moment, and I love her. She is my number one favorite baddie on this season. I don't care what no one says. No one's more up. No one's more down. She has to be my number one baddie. All right, guys. Thanks for watching my review on all three of these episodes. I'm going to try to do another one next week. But if the episode just consists of, like, them talking, bitch, I'm going to wait for the next episode. And if that one does the same thing, then I'm going to wait for the next episode. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm out.